Are you gonna believe it if I even tell you that we're canning more meat today? I wasn't lying. Winter is seriously our meat canning season here in this house. And if you remember when we did our freezer tour video, we found some pretty old meat um, that was at least two years old in the bottom of the freezer. And I wanna get that stuff out and start getting it canned. So a couple things that we found was one big turkey and one big pork butt. So today I've got the pork butt and I'm gonna do very similar to the process of the beef roast that we canned the other day. If you guys didn't check that video, we'll make sure to link it somewhere within this video. It's a, a great opportunity um, to pick up on store deals, get those items canned for quick fast food and easy dinner ideas. But right now I need to get this Oops, hi. Right now I need to get this big pork butt out. It does have a bone in it, so I need to debone it. And then we're gonna get chopping. And I'm gonna tell you a little story while we do that. So this is just over a seven pound pork butt. And I'm gonna do, my chopper's not here. He ran to Walmart. Let's see if I can cut this as good as Todd did. And I have seven mason jars out. Usually about a pound of meat fix it, fits into a pint jar. So I'm gonna just get the big chunks of fat off. There's not a whole lot on this pork butt, so it shouldn't have to have too much trimming. So one of the things that I thought about after we did the roast canning video was what I what we could have said to make it an even more valuable video is there's a lot of conversation in the homesteading social media, uh, whether it's Facebook groups or comments on YouTube videos about people that desire to homestead um, but either don't have the land or the time or the know-how to apply um, homesteading principles in their life. And I thought, you know what we could have said is, and I'll, I'm gonna tell you this today while I can this video, or uh, can this pork. When, before we ever had a homestead, one of the driving factors for us to even live this lifestyle was our food freedom, to know uh, where our food comes from, to take control of our food, and that has since evolved into having uh, less of a footprint in the, the life that we uh, lead. So uh, we're consuming less, and the things that we consume are less destructive to our environment. So if you don't have the means to homestead where you are, um, grow your own food is what I mean, you can still apply a lot of the same principles in your life and teach yourself similar skills where you are by doing just this. So we went, um, and I'm sure we picked up this roast at some point in time while it was on a super good sale at the supermarket and then teach yourself how to can. So yeah, that's one of the ways that we initially started before we had our homestead was I knew, I, before I even um, knew for sure that this was the life I wanted to live, uh, lifestyle I wanted to live, I made sure that I had the skills that were gonna be necessary um, before I even started looking for property. And so while we lived in the suburban home, I uh, taught myself how to can, how to make bread, things like that. And uh, you can do that too. Uh, you can easily find pressure canners or water bath canners, oftentimes on Craigslist or resale shops, so it's not a large investment. 
Uh, maybe you, even you've got a family member that used to do it and has gotten out of it. Um, so I would encourage you to not be discouraged if you see other people doing this and you want to, you absolutely can. So I'm going to get to the point where I've got all this fat cut off and then I'll bring you guys back and show you how I'm chopping it up and seasoning it for canning. Okay, so all I've got all the bad parts off. There was a little bit that was, I think, just a bit too freezer burned um, to be worth canning. So now I'm just going to cut it into small chunks, put it in my mason jars directly. And then I'm just going to do a little salt, pepper, and garlic in for seasoning. You want to fill them just below that top lip on your jars right here. And that's going to be your one inch head space for canning purposes. So if you guys can pork, what is one of your favorite ways to use it? Um, I'm looking forward to some pork tacos, or maybe some barbecue pork on top of a baked potato. But I'd love to hear what recipe ideas you guys have, so make sure you leave those down in the comments below. Give me some inspiration. So all this, um, this pile right here is my waste pile. I'm going to just throw that in the freezer until I have enough um, pork bones and pork scraps to throw some pork stock together. Well, it looks like I'm only going to get six pints out of this, which is fair considering there's all that that's scrap, so that's okay. It's six quick dinners I didn't have on the shelf yet. Maybe only five. Still, I'm grateful. I'm glad we did that freezer tour and we found this stuff. So hey, it's winter, we're not doing anything. Get in your freezers and see if there's some food that you can preserve before it's just too late, too far gone. Um, that's what we did, so I'm glad that <clears throat> I'm glad that we're going to have the opportunity to have some quick and easy meals on the shelves. I'm going to go ahead and throw in some pepper, garlic, salt in these, get them jar, um, in the canner, and I'll show you what they look like uh, as they come out of the canner. So be right back with you. get these in the canner. I have two inches of water or so in my pressure canner. I'm going to put these in 
Seal it up, let it vent for 10 minutes, bring it up to 10 pounds of pressure, and then we are going to can it for 70 minutes. So we're at a venting steam now. I need to let this vent for 10 minutes and then we'll bring it up to pressure. So it's been a really fun day. We have had such a productive weekend as you guys will see throughout the week with videos coming out. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Todd and Dan are off to Walmart doing the weekly Walmart run. And now I'm gonna go get off my feet. It's only two o'clock, but it feels like I've been going all day. So take care guys, have a great weekend. Let me know what you're up to. What do you guys got going on this week? And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.